My name is Deasis and I'm from Watching Watchtower. And today is a special occasion because I'm on my way to a funeral of a mother whose daughter is an ex Jehovah's Witness. And the reason that we're going there today is to show our support for our fellow ex JW member because. <clears throat> they will shun her. They will not talk to her, even even at the funeral. Even at the funeral of her mother, they will refuse any kind of association with her. She might get a high and bye, and I'm sorry for your loss. And that is not at all Christian. And so we XJWs, we stand united with our fellow XJW sister. And we're going there today to support her. And it's sad that we even have to do this. Because we wouldn't have to do this if they were Christians. And if they acted like true Christians. Which said even to love your enemies. So, this is something to think about. <clears throat> if you think that this religion is going to be reasonable with you, and for people who are battling the elders, and fighting this fight to be heard by the governing body, if you think that they're going to be reasonable to you, think about what I'm saying in this video right now. Think about the fact that even in the face of this XJW sister losing her mother, we still have to go and band together to sit with her, to support her during this time of great pain and suffering because they still will shun her. What's Christian about that? Furthermore, What's right about that? What's loving about that? You don't know what it's like unless you've been shunned. You don't know how painful that is until it happens to you. Until everybody that you know and loved is cut off. And people are committing suicide over this. This is why my friend Beth created her page, Stop the Shunning. This is why she created Stop the Shunning. This is why I'm meeting with my friend John from XJW Analyzer and Jimmy to protest this type of stuff. This is why we had to create organizations and networks like this. When you have organizations that come up as support groups for your organization, maybe you should start asking if your organization is doing the right thing. If X members have to come together to take a stand, to display the unity and the show of force that the governing body so cowardly refused to do, what does that tell you? What should it tell you? What should it tell you? So I hope you witnesses that are watching this, I hope you think about this. I hope you think about the conditional superficial love that's happening here and that people's lives are getting affected. And for outsiders that are thinking about joining this organization, take it from us ex-members. We won't lie to you, we won't steer you wrong. But this is it. So now we're going to go to the Kingdom Hall and we're going to meet our dear XJW sister and support her. Because those claiming to be Christian refuse to do so.